details uh, just to think about, okay? All right, we're gonna start our practice right here, seated position this morning, okay? So let's go ahead and get going. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to, excuse me, welcome to Power Yoga. Thank you so much uh, for being here, and I'm grateful, as always, for the opportunity, for the opportunity to interact with all of you and to share this practice with all of you. I hope you find something in this practice that directly aligns to what you're seeking from your practice. From this seated position, let's go ahead and get going. Get a nice tall posture here. Let's start with a couple cleansing breaths. Some just big deep inhales and long smooth exhales. And maybe just almost like a sigh exhale. Just like, just like carrying a load and just taking that load off our shoulders and setting it down for a moment, okay? So breathe in big and deep and just just let it go. Okay, let's do about five or six of those. If you're following along playlist number 15 today, if you want to go ahead and get that started. Sometimes I forget to share that. It's a nice playlist and a great finishing song today. Good cleansing breaths. Maybe with that breath, we can just start to maybe ease a little bit of tension. Of course, a lot of that going on with ourselves and with the world of today. Allow ourselves to create some space for each one of us right here. Just a moment, these next 75 minutes, allowing ourselves to maybe relax, to release, to decompress, to become in touch with ourselves. And from this seated position, maintain that deep breath. And just bring your fingers to peace fingers. Peace fingers right here. And just start uh, applying a little pressure on your temples. And drawing little circles on your temples with those peace fingers. And as we consider our practice today, consider that yoga was created to be an architecture of peace. Are an architecture of peace aligned with principles that we've talked about quite a bit. See so the yamas and the yamas. In effect, those are the way we treat ourselves and those that surround us. Switch directions on those circles and just apply light pressure on those temples, relaxing the jaw and maybe relaxing the eyelids. But in architecture and principles are no good without practice, without practice, without action. And really that's what makes yoga such a special practice is applying the practice with action. Good. So from here, let's take those peace fingers and replace them with our thumbs, keeping pressure on the temples with your thumbs. Take those peace fingers right to the center of your brow and apply pressure. There's a little pressure point right at the center of your brow and just hold for a little bit. This might feel like uh, when I do those temple massages in our Sunday class and apply a little pressure right there. That's what it's intended to feel like. Good. But the ultimate with the practice of yoga and putting yoga into action is to ultimately find that, that love, that love of ourself. And once we're able to work on the inside, it helps to permeate that energy to the outside, to those that surround us. I've shared this multiple times in the past. It's impossible to love someone else more than we love ourselves. And so if we're not looking within, then we are without. And so we focus first on where we're at, where we're at, where our minds are at, start drawing that brow line. I forgot to, if I shared that or not from the center and just start drawing those peace fingers towards your thumbs. And so by starting with us, we're able to make that shift. We're able to put that action out and that energy out into the world to provide our simple part of the puzzle. A couple more right there. Just draw from the center of your brow to your thumbs, keeping that pressure. Just draw on that brow line, thumbs maintaining pressure on those temples. How about one more time right there? Good. Very nice. And just rest those arms just a little bit onto your lap. Exhale, bring your chin to your chest and right ear to right shoulder. Create space between your teeth, relax your jaw. Okay, inhale back to center, left ear to left shoulder. Keep relaxing that jaw. 
and just keep flowing side to side. Inhale to center, exhale as we sink a little bit deeper side to side. Going side to side and forward, avoid going back. Applying that breath, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. Just give me a few more of those and then we're going to settle with our right ear towards our right shoulder. Just leave our head right there and breathe and then take those peace fingers again and right next to your ear as your jawline starts. Start tracing from your jawline through that muscly part of your jaw down to your chin, applying a little pressure. Okay, you can even start your temple if you want, if that feels better for you. But just stay right here, space between your teeth, Relax that jaw, space between your lips, and just continue to breathe nice and deep. And if you want to apply a couple circles right there on that muscly part of your jaw, that's okay. This is called the Alexander Technique, and there's more to it, but this is the simplified version. of just starting to work through the jaw, release some of the stress that we may carry throughout our jawline and our face. Give me one more trace just on this side. Excellent. And then inhale to center and exhale to the left ear, left shoulder. Good. Stay right there. Right piece fingers from the temple or that jawline next to your ear. Just trace the jawline through the muscly part of your jaw down to your chin. Good. Relax, space between your teeth. Maybe those eyes are relaxing. Good breathing right here. Just allow that breath to be cleansing and softening. And continue to trace that jawline maybe two more times. Very nice. Bring our neck back to just neutral spine. We're going to cross at our wrists, bring our palms together, and drop the crown of our head between our arms and round through our spine just a little bit. I'm just going to turn at an angle so you can see that just a little bit better. And then we'll add a little dynamic to it. We're going to lean forward, maybe tap those fingers down to the ground, and lift right back up. Good. Exhale as we lean forward. Inhale on the lift up. Good stretch between those shoulder blades. A little bit of core engagement right here as we're hinging forward. And perhaps getting a deeper stretch as we lean into it just a little bit more. And let's do one more time. Rock forward and then come back up to that seated position. Get your right fingertips and point them down towards the ground as we extend that palm out and the hand on those fingertips and just press the palm forward. Okay, maybe about parallel with, the, with that uh, right arm. You can play around moving it up or down to see what works for you. This just gets that forearm and that wrist and that bicep a little bit of a stretch and just starts to wake up those muscles a little bit, saying hello. Hello, it's time for power yoga today. Let's get going, let's get going. Let's move on to the other side, shall we? So left fingertips point to the ground. Okay, just a little bit of pressure. A little bit of pressure without overdoing it. Press your palm forward. Press your palm forward in through the forearm and that bicep. So one thing that would be nice as we get into Sunday class next week is we're going to, there's three tents out in the parking lots. We're going to take over all three tents for Sunday Power Yoga. And we're going to have a class of 30. Class of 30 out in the parking lots. Okay? All right. Sign up. Be there. Sign up and be there. Let's release the hands right here. Good. Take your right hand and just bring it behind your back. Set the palm on the middle of your spine, elbow up toward the sky, and just a little pressure on the elbow, drawing that elbow back. So we get a stretch through the tricep and down into the shoulder. Nice and gentle. Even a little rock. You can rock. Okay. So all the poses we do, there's no, there's no version where we have to hold and stay static and, and have a freeze frame. 
Okay, we don't have to hit pause on a pose. We can just play around and move around just a little bit, twist a little bit and feel more from the pose. Okay, just a little adjustment. Where do you feel it? Where do you feel it more? Okay. Same thing, other side, take that left hand, palm in the middle of our spine, left elbow up, and then a little pressure back with that right hand. So go straight back again through the tricep, shoulder, and down into those ribs, just a little bit. Maybe even crawling those fingers down your spine. Very nice. Good. And then exhale, release the hands down. I'm going to scooch back here onto our mat. Let's straighten our legs out in front of us, toes toward the shins. Staff pose, staff pose, sitting nice and tall, engage our core, feeling those top of those hip flexors and quads even engage. Very nice. Let's fan our arms up and right back to heart center. Inhale nice and high, hands together and exhale, right back to our heart center. Three more times, inhale, reach, and exhale on back. Just keep that length with our spine, keep that staff pose and the integrity of that seated position to keep our body fully engaged right there. Inhale and exhale, and now add gentle twists. Fan the arms up, turn to the left on the exhale. Go ahead, stand nice and tall as we rotate. Inhale up and exhale and turn to the right. And keeping nice and tall. Inhale and exhale. Good. In and ah, There we go. With that breath, looking good, still sitting tall. That's engaging our core. Just a little extra, we got more core work coming up, of course. And we're gonna hit that in just a moment, but let's continue to get our body moving. Hey, how about one more time left? One more time to the right. And then let's meet with our hands at heart center. Okay, still in this staff pose, left foot comes over to the outside of that right knee. You can also, no, let's make it to the outside of that right knee. And that foot's pointing forward, okay? That foot's pointing forward. Left hand to the ground, reach that right hand up, and side bend, press the hips to the right side. A little squeeze to the left side. Okay, engage that core, and then push off that left hand. Okay. Two more breaths on this side. And we'll do a side bend on the other side. So put that right hand on the ground, left hand up, press towards the left side now, and open up. Now keeping that right hand nice and firm, we're gonna move towards horizon lunge. And this is kind of a big move right here, a big shift. That left foot's gonna stay right where it's at, pointing forward. Pointing forward, that right foot's gonna come all the way out, to the left side here. So put a lot of pressure into that right arm, sweep that uh, le uh, right leg under and onto the pinky toe side of your foot, and that left foot stays right where it's at, knee towards the toes, left hand towards the sky. Hips up off the ground, okay? If we don't love this, set a knee down, and we can have a kneeling version of horizon lunge. Okay, so it's basically a side plank with the top foot forward, that's what it is. Okay, a little dynamic here. Let's bring that left hand underneath. Okay, let's tap that right shoulder and inhale that left hand right back up. Exhale as we come down, tap and inhale right back up. Give me three more of those. Exhale and inhale. Very nice. Whew. All right. There we go. That's engaging, right? Okay, we just hit like the we just turned the volume up to 11 on this thing. Good, and then set it on down safely. Come back to that staff position. Legs forward. Very nice, very nice. From that staff position, this time right foot comes to the outside. Right foot pointing straight forward. Okay, and then we're gonna bring that right hand down. Left hand up toward the sky. Side bend, push off our mat with that right hand to press our hips and our ribs to the left side. Good, breath in, fill those lungs to expand those ribs. Excellent, and then bring that left hand down. Inhale that right hand up, press our hips to the right side now. 
Good side bend there. Now, that left hand is gonna be really pivotal here. We're gonna dig it in just a little bit. Right foot stays right where it's at. We're gonna start lifting up on that as we sweep that left leg under. Pinky toe side of that foot and lengthen that leg. Right, our left shoulder right above that left hand. Stack through those shoulders. Good horizon lunge, knee to toes. Awesome, awesome. And then that dynamic exhale. Tap that left shoulder with that right hand. Inhale, that right hand to the sky. Keep going. Four more times, total five. You got it, you got it. Inhale and exhale. All right, keep on going. Nice and strong, nice and strong. And when you're done with those five, we'll come back to that staff position. Nice and gently as we come on down. Perfect. Now from here, legs nice and long out of us, let's come on down to our elbows. Maybe tuck in the palms of our, or our hands underneath our hips just a little bit. Palms facing down, sideways scissors. It's time to get some core work on. Point those toes and go side to side with those feet. Okay, staying on those elbows. This is a challenge for the back leg all the way down as we go side to side. Okay, so a little bit challenging up higher, a little bit more challenging down below. If we go lower, Either way, it's a challenge. And then let's switch, switch those scissors to be up and down. Up and down. Whew. There we are. Now we're getting it going. Are we not? Are we not? Okay. And we'll go for three and two. And then we're going to lower all the way down onto our backs and feet up towards the sky. Soles of our feet pointing towards the ceiling. We're just going to rock and lift our hips. Hands right next to, there, right next to our hips. And we're going to try and just use those hands, palms down towards the ground to press into our mat. A little rock and a little lift. Trying to lift those hips. Trying to lift that tailbone gently off the ground and set it back down. Whoo! Very nice. Give me a couple more. Three of them. Two of them, one more of them, no more of them. That's better. Okay, grab behind those knees or crawl onto one leg and drop the leg, let it carry you all the way up. Excellent, one more core exercise we're gonna do in, out, and ups, both feet. Okay, so we're gonna tap the heels in and out and kick both toes up, hands to the side. Good, in and out. And kick it. There we go. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Big kicks up. How high can we get those toes to go? Okay. But bob your back one foot at a time on those kicks. One foot at a time on those kicks. And even those walk-ins and outs. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's do like three more. Three more. In, out, and ups. Oh, yeah. Getting that midsection working. Good. Last time, last time. All right, so we're going to come to a standing position. Now you can just stand up or I'm going to guide us through a stand-up position from our mats. We spread our feet about mat width apart. Dominant hand stays on the ground and press it into the ground as we start lifting our hips. Okay, almost like that tabletop or bridge. Take that other hand, begin reaching forward and start rocking motion uh, forward. So that when we rock, we come onto those feet like a yogi squat. And we're right there. We're right there. Very nice. Okay. Let's interlock our fingers together. Standing nice and tall with those interlaced hands. Press those palms up toward the sky. Breathe. Breathe. And lengthen your body. As if you're trying to touch the ceiling, as if you're trying to touch the clouds with the palms of your hands. Breathe in nice and tall. Take a nice big inhale. At that center point, exhale and rock to the right. Inhale back to center, exhale to the left. Inhale center and to the right. Good. Pressing our hips in the opposite direction. Our hands are going. 
One more time, flowing, and then we'll hold. So inhale, and then exhale, hold to the right, keep it right there, and breathe. Breathe, expand those lungs, fill those lungs with air, ribs expands, breathe in. Inhale, back to center, exhale, hands to the left, hips press into the right. Hold this position, breathe, fill those lungs, expand those ribs. Inhale, back to center, exhale, hands to heart center. Still interlacing those fingers, but bring it behind our backs now. Feet about hip distance or maybe slightly wider. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can all see this. Draw those hands down or just leave them right there on your hips and draw the elbows back. Okay, hands down past your tailbone, roll those shoulders down and away from your ears. Look up, stand tall and breathe. Awesome. Now, from here, Take a nice big inhale, long spine as we come down for our forward fold. We're going to hinge down, hinge down, hinge down. When we get down to the bottom, float those hands up to the sky if that feels all right to you. Keep those hands interlaced. If you'd rather not, that's fine too. If it doesn't feel good, of course, you know the rule. You know the rule. Don't do it. It's as simple as hard as that. Sometimes we've got to Really apply that mind-body principle and make it happen. Consider our options and then just do it. And then just do it. Good. Let's exhale, release those hands down. Inhale and drape those hands all the way up the legs, above the knees. Stop above the knees, cat and cow standing position. Inhale, look up, tailbone up. Exhale, look down, round through the spine. Good. Inhale, look up. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Work that length of our spine, then exhale, round. Our spine, separate those shoulders. Keep going, inhale and exhale. All right, so we got more. So we'll just stay after it, apply that breath, use that breath to guide our pace, use that breath to tune into the present moment. How's our body feel as we're moving it? Making sure we're considering all things right now, right now. <sighs> inhale and exhale. Good. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. All right. One last time. Yeah. All right. And then we're going to inhale. And on our next exhale, chair pose. So inhale. Thumbs forward up toward the sky. Sit down into it. Exhale, chair pose. Okay. We don't have to reach too high and force those shoulders. Those hands can be just straight out forward or it can be at heart center. Knees and feet separated or together. Sitting down in to this chair pose. Let's breathe. Whole foot on the ground. Heels to toes, but weight of our body shifting to those heels. And breathe. And hold. And breathe. And hold. Three more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And don't let my pace guide you, but just you get the idea. Next inhale, fan those arms up nice and tall. Stand tall, reach forward. Exhale to our heart center. Let's apply that breath to movement in our sun A's. Let's get moving. Inhale, shoot those hands up nice and tall. Exhale and forward fold. Inhale, up, straight those hands across those shins. Rest below our knees, flat back. Exhale, set those hands down and step the feet back plank position. On the inhale, we rock forward. Then we have a choice stand. Those toes are dropped to those knees. For that optional half push-up, we can go from plank to down dog. So that push-up, we come on down, we inhale up, we're on our knees, that's cobra. We come onto the shoelace side of our feet, knees up, that is upward facing dog. And then we exhale right back to down dog. All right, take some breaths right here, alternate those heels, get a nice stretch through those calves and heels and arches. Stay right here in down dog. Awesome. Find a little stillness with our feet. Take your right hand and set it on your tailbone. Okay, and then think about that strong left arm without locking the elbow. Long spine crown of your head to your tailbone. Lifting that tailbone just a little bit higher, softening through your arches, settling in and feeling a nice deep stretch through your calves 
in hamstrings and glutes. Bring that right hand back, left hand onto the tailbone, press back just a little bit more. Breathe deep into this. On those exhales, settle in just a little bit more. Ears right next to that bicep on that right arm. Outstanding. Both hands down. Next inhale, we step forward towards those hands in the front of our mats. Exhale and bend those knees. Inhale, sweep up nice and tall. And exhale right back to heart center. Let's do like four or five more of those. Five more. Inhale up and exhale and the fold. Inhale up the flat back and exhale. Come on back to plank position. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, half push up. Remember, choose the path that works for you as we look up Cobra Upper Dog Yogi's Choice. And then exhale, downward dog. Inhale, step or a little bend in those knees and hop forward. Soft landing, inhale up and exhale and fold back to heart center. Inhale, reach forward and exhale, come on down. Inhale, up to that flat back and exhale, step it on back. Inhale, rock and roll forward. Exhale, come down. Inhale, lift that crown. Exhale, face back down. Inhale, step or hop forward. Exhale, bend those knees. Inhale, reverse that swan dive. Exhale, right back to your heart center like you're saying, please. Inhale, reach and exhale down. Inhale, up, flat back. Exhale, come on back. Good. Make your vinyasa flow work for you. Again, inhale, rock forward, protects those shoulders, and then go through that flow that's designed for you. Down dog, step or hop forward. Exhale with those knees and sweep it up nice and tall. We got three more to go. You can go at your own pace if you want, and if it's too fast or too slow, you do you, and I got what I'm doing. All right. That's why we call it our unique practice for us. And you have the flexibility. You have that yogi's choice to make it work for you. A couple more. Inhale, reach, and exhale, come down. Inhale on up, and exhale on back. Good. A little vinyasa flow. Down, look high, and then exhale, tailbone into the sky. Excellent job, step or hop forward. Exhale to those knees and sweep it up, fill those lungs as much as you can. Right back to heart center again. One more time, inhale, reach forward, and exhale on down. Inhale up to flat back, and exhale, step it on back. Let's go through our vinyasa flow. We'll all meet back in downward facing dog. All right, from downward dog, Float that right heel up toward the sky. Float it up and hold it up. Three-legged dog, we're gonna sweep that right leg underneath the left leg, okay? There we go, so fall in triangle. Come onto the pinky toe side of that right foot, right shoulder over that right hand, reach that left hand up, stack to those shoulders. Can also set that right knee down for a kneeling side plank. Hold, reach, and lift those hips. Awesome. From here, press back, lift that right heel, three-legged dog. Go ahead and bring that right foot forward, set it between those hands, back heel stays up, crescent pose. Crescent pose. One of 30 crescent poses we're doing today. I'm kidding around, that was for someone that's in the audience today. Hi, Grace. All right. <laughs> okay. Very nice, I'm gonna face forward, crescent pose. Okay, front knee bent towards those pinky toes. Back heel up off the ground, shoulders rolled down. Awesome, let's bring that right hand down to our hip bone, left hand reaches higher, a little side bend, press our hips to the left side, feel your weight of your body just shift a little bit. Just shifting a little bit, okay, as if you're just trying to tap that hip bone onto the left wall. As we come back center, bring those hands to heart center, good, then lean forward. Lengthen through that spine, left elbow to the outside of that right leg. Twisted prayer. Press those hands together, fingertips and knuckles, and get that dynamic tension. You can also reduce the range of motion right here and lift higher. Okay? All right. So we have that option. I'm going to turn to the side in twisted prayer. Okay? Because we're going to move back into three-legged dog. So as we come back to center on the exhale, set those hands down in front, that right foot up front, lift back up toward the sky, put a bend in that knee and open that hip, press in that foot, that sole that foot to the left side. Whew. 
Very nice, very nice. As we bring it through, we're gonna bring that foot through and then find runner's lunge just for a moment right here, runner's lunge. Okay, so back heel up, hands down on the ground. Okay, and then we're gonna just launch forward. So shoulder's gonna come forward, left heel lift up. Let's find warrior three. Okay, peel those hands up, extend those arms out. And we're gonna add a little sunbird motion to this, which means we're gonna tap that right hand to that left knee, meet in our midline and extend and inhale back out. Exhale, tap and inhale and reach. Good. Whew. All right, keep going. Give me a total of five of them right there. Excellent job, a lot of control, a lot of stability, a lot of core strength. When you're done with those five, just bring those hands gently down to the ground, set that left foot on the ground. Okay, you can even drop that back knee down. Okay, runner's lunge with that back knee down and left face back to the front, just for a moment. All right. And then crawl those hands up to the top of the leg. Sweep those hands up nice and high, reach to the sky. Very nice. Left hand, palm on the middle of our spine like we did earlier, and a little nudge with that right hand on the elbow. A little tricep stretch and side bend. Lean to the side as we draw the elbow back. Again, pressing our hips to the left side. Really engaging right here. Beautiful. Okay, now, exhale and release. Bring those hands back front and center. Step back to plank, vinyasa flow. Here we go. Inhale, rock forward, exhale, come down. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, press on back. This time, left heel floats up to the sky, and we're gonna sweep it under the right leg, pinky toe side of that left foot, fallen triangle, right hand up to the sky, stack through those shoulders, keep those hips nice and high. Okay, left knee can also be down on the ground as an option. Good, breathe and hold. As we come back, bring both hands down, float that left heel right back up toward the sky. Excellent, and then bring it through, front of the mat, between those hands, crescent pose. Float on up. Again, deep bend in that front knee, hips, shoulders square to the front of that mat, back heel up off the ground, a lot of balance, a lot of balance. Okay, hands up and shoulders rolled down. Excellent, this time left hand just sets on that left uh, hip bone or even behind you on the tailbone, reach that right hand up, side bend, and again as if we're trying to set our right hip onto the right side. Just a little nudge to the side. That connects everything together, through our ribs, down to those hip flexors, right across the top of those legs into the quads, still softening through that right arch. All right, as we come back, front and center, okay, front and center, bring those hands together, and then lean forward, twisted prayer. Twisted prayer, so right elbow to the outside of that left. Press those hands together, stack those elbows. Strength right there through those arms, every fingertip we feel, pressing against each other, every part of our body is engaged to keep us stable right here. Keeping that dynamic tension, okay? If everything's loose, then we're gonna be loose as well, we're just gonna fall over. So if we keep everything engaged, a nice healthy tension, so to speak, okay, then that's where we need to be. Outstanding. All right, we're gonna come back, exhale, front and center, hands out to the front, left foot floats up to the sky, three-legged dog, put a bend in that knee, open the hip, press that sole of our left foot towards the right side. Breathe in deep, and hold it up there. Watch that those arms remain strong without locking those elbows. Good stretch on that left side, we're gonna bring that left foot through, runner's lunge, runner's lunge. Stay right here for just a moment, then we're gonna rock forward, lean forward, and find warrior three. Here we go. Lean forward, shoulders way out in front. Okay, and then those hands forward. Add that sunbird component, left hand to that right knee. Exhale as we meet in the middle. Inhale as we extend back out.
total of five on those moving warrior threes or warrior three sunbirds as I call them. Okay, when we find that warrior three again, when we're done with those five, we'll gently descend down to the ground, set those hands down and those right toes down and that right knee down. Good. And I'll face back towards you. Runner's lunge with that knee down. Crawl those hands on top of the leg and sweep those hands up toward the sky. It's time that right hand sets on our spine, palm to that spine, take that left hand, nudge that elbow back, and lean over to the side, pressing our hips to the right side. Breathe. Just breathe. Settle in. And breathe. Beautiful. Great engaging stretch right there. Hands forward, step back to plank, vinyasa flow. Let's go, here we go. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale. Press back and down, we're done. From here, float that right heel on up toward the sky, sweep it through, set that right foot between those hands, gluing the left foot down on the ground. Warrior one. All right. Well, that's good, nice. Both feet on the ground, heels to toes. Deep bend in that knee, pointing towards those pinky toes. Good stretch through those hips on the inside of the leg a little bit more now. So we got the outside of the hips, now we're getting the inside of the hips on that back leg. Outstanding. From here, breathe in, bring those hands to the instep. Left heel comes up off the ground, twisted low lunge. Open up that heart to the right side, and then float that right hand up to the sky. Excellent job. Watch if that right knee doesn't splay out and that hip goes soft. We got to keep it right there and engaged. Okay, just imagine you're scissoring those legs together. Dynamic tension, working toward each other to keep that stability. As we exhale, both hands down, right hand to the ground, bring it to the inside part of that right leg, glue that left heel down on the ground, inhale that left hand up toward the sky. Okay, if it's too deep on that right angle, then float that hand up or bring that right arm on top of the leg, avoid being on top of the knee, okay? All right, and then that top hand reaching overhead. Awesome, I'm gonna turn to the side, stay right where you're at, just so you can see that. Right angle pose, awesome. Just make sure we're stacking through those shoulders and those ribs, and we're creating as much perpendicular as we can, so to speak which means we're feeling the top side of our body, okay? Bring that top arm and extend that right angle if we want to. On our next inhale, float that right hand up toward the sky, reach nice and high. Front leg stays right where it's at, back leg stays right where it's at, nothing moves down below. We're just rocking forward and back through our hips. Good, so just reach those fingertips nice and high on that right side, back hand on the leg or on that tailbone. Now let's add a little dynamic. Let's get a little flowing going here. And it's a nice gentle rock forward and back. As we exhale, right angle pose. Reach overhead, extend it. As we inhale, reverse warrior. And float those arms, okay? Get a little flowy with those arms if you want. You can tap opposite hand, opposite hip bone. Or just find whatever works for you with those arms. Can you just keep those hands side to side just so we feel the stretches on the side of our body. Staying into that front leg. Ooh, that front leg's probably feeling something by now. Awesome, one more time. Then we'll find warrior two. Lengthen that front leg from warrior two. Soft bend in the knee still, we're not locking that front knee. Breathe in, fill those lungs, exhale and reach forward as far as you can. When you're out of air and when you're out of reach, then we just tip over and we set that right hand above or below our knee onto the leg or on that block that's way over there. I think my block grew legs and walked away from me and uh, I'm not gonna become a contortionist to grab it, so I adjust where I'm at. Okay, above or below the knee on the leg. You can also just float the hand or bring the hand to the inside and push that forearm into that leg just a little bit, just to help us open up our heart and feel more through the top side of our body. Beautiful, as we exhale, come back to warrior two, and let's flow those arms around and down, step back to plank, 
and go through a vinyasa flow and do it again, shall we? Good, inhale, rock forward, exhale down, inhale, look up, and exhale, press it all back. Awesome job, this time left heel floats up nice and high, three-legged dog, and then bring it through. Bring it through, warrior one. Left foot forward, right heel down, both feet on the ground, and find that nice, strong, warrior one stance. Knee, hovering right above that ankle on that front foot. Okay, I'm just gonna stay right here, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna find that twisted low lunge, bringing those hands to the instep, lean forward, back heel comes up, that right heel comes up, open up our heart center to the left side, and then float that left arm up to the sky if that feels right. Okay, left knee towards our hearts. Scissor those legs, feel that engagement, that strength, that strength. Okay, I am gonna switch over to the other side, just so you can see that, and I'm gonna grab my block, so I have that. All right, something twisted low lunge, Bring that left hand down, block that left arm into that left leg, set that right heel down onto the ground, inhale that right hand up toward the sky, Again, hand to the ground, floating on the block, or forearm on the leg. And once you find that spot that works best for you, if you want to extend it overhead, then just lengthen from your fingertip to your back right heel. And breathe. Breathe and adapt, breathe and adjust. Okay, a little bit of movements, a little bit of adjusting to find your way. On your next inhale, float that left hand up toward the sky. Again, nothing moves, waist down. We're just rocking through the waist. Left hand reaches nice and high, right leg on the leg, tailbone, or wrapped behind the back like a belt. Whew. Opposite tension going on. The reach and the settle in. Breathe in and lift. Exhale and sink deeper into those legs. That's how it works. And now we're gonna rock and roll forward and back. On our next exhale, right angle pose. Find it for you. You can even extend it. On the inhale, reach back up. Get legs are static. Nothing's moving down below. That means we have strength and stability and we're using our breath to guide us forward and back at the pace of our breath. Two more times, forward and back, or back and forward, wherever you're at, however you're flowing, however you're going, we're gonna make it happen wherever you're at, and we'll find warrior two. Get legs in move, all we have to do is just point those arms in opposite directions. Now. Front leg's probably screaming. So how about some mercy length on that leg? That's good. Breathe in nice and big, fill those lungs. Exhale, begin reaching as far forward as we can. Reach, 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 let all the air out. And then that last little bit of that exhale, tip it over. Good, stack through those shoulders, those ribs, lift that right hip up toward the ceiling on the next inhale. Lift it up just a little bit higher. Awesome triangle pose. Excellent job. Settle in and breathe. Above or below the knee with that hand or that block. Just settle in and breathe. Find the calm, find the comforts in the bones. On our next exhale, back to warrior two. And we bring those arms around and down, back to plank position. Bin, yasa, flow. Here we go. Let's do more. All right. Exhale, come down, inhale, look up, press back, downward dog. Right heel floats up toward the sky. And warrior one pose. Bring that right foot between those hands. Glue that left foot on the ground, warrior one. Excellent, a nice dynamic here now. A little cat and cow motion with our arms and back. So round, cross those arms, separate those shoulders, round that spine, engage our core and then arch back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, engage those muscles that border our spine. Lift our heart to the sky, inhale, and then just flow. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale, round, and inhale. Arch back, strengthen that back foot. Strengthen that back glute. Exhale, and inhale. Again, that warrior one, cat cow, as I like to call it. 
Awesome. One more time, exhale, inhale. Meet up in that warrior one, right back to neutral spine. And step forward, lengthen that front leg. Back heel walks forward a little bit. And just half that stance, inhale nice and tall, zip it up. And then exhale and hinge, hips and shoulders square to the mat, to the ground. As we come on down, keep that length of our spine. Walk down that leg, use that block that again grew legs and walked over there. Okay, or hands on the legs, fingertips on the ground, and then settle into it as we find that spot on the way down. Drop the crown of your head, breathe, relax the jaw. Very nice. From here, a few more breaths. We're gonna find half moon and twist in half. So we're gonna put a little bend in that right knee. Stabilize that right hand a little bit out forward of that right foot. Float that left heel up off the ground. And then stack through those shoulders and ribs and hips. I'll turn to the side so you can see that. From pyramid pose, bend that knee first. Bend that knee first so that we can get into that position nice and comfortably. Good. Straight line, crown of your head to your heels. Straight line, fingertip to fingertip. Intersecting at your heart. Twist in half, exhale, that left hand down. Keep that left foot up off the ground. Inhale, right hand up or to the hip. Opening up our heart now to the right side, hips staying square. Nothing you need to do there, it'll just happen. Open up and lift, point those toes toward the ground on that left foot. And breathe. Whew, that's a big stretch on the outside of that right leg. Very nice. That's a great stretch. Good. So we exhale both hands down. Step that left foot down. Step that right foot back. Plank position. There we go. Vinyasa flow. Uno mas. One more time. Very nice. Whew. All right, left foot. Floats up nice and high. And bring that left foot through. Right to the front of our mat, gluing that right foot down. There we go. Warrior one pose. Warrior one pose. All right. And then that warrior one, we're gonna turn into an upright cat and cow, so let's get it going. We're gonna round forward, separate those shoulders, squeeze those abs, inhale, arch back. You can feel those muscles that border our spine. From our neck down to our tailbone, exhale, bring it forward, and inhale. And lift, arch, reach. Good, squeeze, exhale, round, separate, and inhale. Just working that spine so good for our body. Excellent. One more time, exhale and inhale. And then find neutral spine, back to normal. Warrior one, walk. That back foot in, lengthen. That front leg soft, bend in that left knee. Zip it up, breathe in nice and tall. Exhale, hinge and come forward. Pyramid pose. Okay, this time I got the block. It didn't run away from me that time. I got you. It reminds me for next week, outdoor classes. If you want a block, bring your own block. Bring your own block. I don't think we're going to be carting the blocks now. Bring your own mats. Bring your own towel. Bring your own water. All that stuff. And then get back to relaxing right now and breathe. Okay. Just going to turn to the side. Two more breaths right here in pyramid. And then a deeper bend in to that left knee. Stabilize that left hand well out in front of that left foot, like six to 12 inches. Lengthen that leg, lift that right heel, half moon. Half moon, stacking through those shoulders, ribs, and hips, pointing those toes to our belly button and heart, and our hips are facing. Beautiful. Calm, find your presence, find your moments, and breathe. Keeping that right leg up, let's find twisted half, right hand comes down towards the ground. On the exhale, inhale that left hand up. Again, squaring everything up toward the mats, and then opening our heart to the left side. 
And just think about that right leg a little bit, the one still floating in the air. Try to lengthen it, try and keep that dynamic tension as if you're trying to just set your heel on the back wall behind you. Very nice. As we exhale, both hands down, set both feet beside each other, and inhale. Sweep up, nice and tall, and exhale to heart center. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. We'll stay right here, mountain pose. And it's time to do some balance work, some additional balance work, right? Okay. Right foot stays on the ground. Let's find eagle pose. So we're going to cross left over right and then squeeze those legs together and sit down into it. Okay, sit down into those legs. Arms out nice and wide. Set that left elbow onto your right bicep or into your right elbow and either hug yourself, back of the hands together or palms together and then raise those elbows with whichever arms that you find comfortable. Keeping those legs squeezing together. If you can interlock those ankles, that's great. That's something I've been practicing. I'm getting closer, getting closer. Okay, there's a problem though, my legs are in the way. Okay, <laughs> all right. And we're gonna do a little something here. We're gonna go into warrior three from here. Keeping the arms and releasing the legs. So go ahead and take that left leg and release it and then press that left heel to the back of the room as we hinge through our hips and try and find that letter T with our body. And just let those arms stay right there, eagle arms. The weight of the body, get a little deeper stretch between those shoulders. It even helps to kind of counterbalance you. Press that left heel up, squeeze to the glutes, into our lower back. Take an inhale, exhale, unravel, and set that left foot down. Beautiful. Whew. Okay. All right, left foot stays on the ground. Cross. Right over left, squeeze those legs together, sits our tailbone closer down to the ground. Now try to interlock those legs best you can. Keep that tension going. That's the key to this one is all right here. The strength and power of our legs. Arms out nice and wide. Right elbow sets onto your left bicep or into that left elbow. And then find your arms and lift those elbows. Ooh, keep pressing those legs. Don't forget about that. Breathe. We're going to turn this into an Eagle Warrior Three. Let's let that Warrior Three soar, shall we? So we'll take that right hip leg and we'll extend it back. Keep those arms right where they're at and begin hinging. 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 And then holding. Okay? Little adjustments. Good breaths. Find a focal point. Find your calm amongst all the chaos going on in our body right now. Find that calm. Find that peace. Find that focus. Keep breathing. Take an inhale. Exhale, unravel, and release. Oh, very nice. Come down to a seated position. Outstanding. Whoo! Feeling it today, that's for sure. All right, seated position, toes toward the shin, sit up nice and tall, staff pose, just like we did at the beginning, inhale up, and then exhale, and forward fold, reach, reach, as if you're trying to reach beyond those feet, reach forward and not down, reach forward, crown of the head going forward and not down, reach, 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 when you can reach no further, put your body's way, say we're good, and then you just find somewhere to stabilize onto. Okay, rest those hands. Keep that forward tension going with the crown of your head, that forward momentum. And then just breathe. Inhale, a little lift. And exhale, sink in. Sink in. Soften in. Sink in is the wrong word because I really just want us going forward, not down. So sink in means find a little bit more depth forward. Exhale and release. Sit tall. 
and then put a bend in that right knee. Okay, foot can stay to the inside or come to the outside. And we're gonna do a little twist here. So right hand behind your back. Inhale, that left hand lengthen through our spine. Elbow to the outside of the leg or give that leg a hug and then rotate. Good stretch. Stay nice and tall. Soften through that breath. Use that breath to feel more. Relax and engage. Two opposing forces right there. Relaxing and engaging, but we can do both together. You can be right here, right in the presence, feeling something while being in that calm position. Awesome. As we come back to center, keep that right leg. If you didn't cross it over, go ahead and cross it over. And then keep that right ankle above the left knee. Okay, not on the knee. Right toes toward the shins, hands to the side, and put a bend into that left leg. Try and get the whole foot on the ground, tabletop pigeon. Start lifting those hips on up, fingertips forward, or pointing to the sides, but not behind you. It puts too much stress on the shoulders and biceps. Okay, just letting that right knee just soften and fall, just how it will. We don't force it. Left knee, of course, toward the toes and hovering right above the ankles. You can relax the head, neutral spine. Push through those hands, push through those shoulders, and let that head crawl into a turtle shell. <sighs> Lift those hips just a little bit more, squeeze those glutes, and then exhale and release on down. Beautiful. All right. Same thing, other side. Same thing, other side. So, put a bend in that left leg. Foot to the inside or the outside initially. Left hand behind us. And inhale that right hand to lengthen our spine. And elbow to the outside or hug the leg. Sit tall. Sit tall and breathe. So tall and relax and release. Soften with the exhales. Feel a little bit more with each and every breath. Little adaptations, little adjustments. Good. As we exhale back to center, keep that left leg. If you didn't bring it across, go ahead and bring it across. Ankle above the right knee. Left toes toward the shins, hands to the sides, forward or back on those fingertips. Bend in that right knee and lift those hips. Tabletop, pigeon, and again, knee towards the toes on that right leg. Left knee just naturally falling, don't force it. Press in through those shoulders, press into those hands, relax the neck, neutral spine. Lift those hips, squeeze those glutes. Breathe and release, exhale. Beautiful thing right there. Okay. See right here, bent knees, seated position. Let's go ahead and find a little boat action, a little boat. Okay, grab behind those knees, find that little balance first on our tuchus. Okay, knees bent, arms out to the side, or setting them on the ground. And if you want, you can lengthen those legs, lengthen those levers, sit nice and tall through our spine and breathe. Breathe. Don't let that boat sink. Breathe. Good. As we exhale, come forward, put a bend in those knees, wide boat now with potentially a toe lock or an ankle grab or just supporting behind your knees. It's more balance versus core. So bring one leg out, peace fingers on the big toe. Okay, and then the other leg out. Just watch if there's anything behind you because if you rock back, you're gonna bonk your head. So don't do that or just be aware of your surroundings. It's called bringing the presence moment. That's right. 
more balance versus core strength. And breathe. Very nice. As we gently come out of this, let's bring the soles of our feet together and find butterfly pose or bound angle pose. I'll turn front and center. How about that? And initially try to draw those knees down sideways towards our mats. Being opening up our hips, getting that external rotation through our hips. Okay, you can even use those hands onto the ankles or shins. Draw those heels a little bit closer to your glutes. Okay, so bringing those heels in, bring those heels in. Knees down to the side. Okay, keep that long spine, begin exhaling and hinging. Either keeping the hands on the ankles or shins, or you can start cupping the outside, the pinky toe sides of your feet. Okay, just listen to those ankles. And you can also press those elbows into your shins or your calves just to help those legs stay open and so you feel something, but don't overdo it, right? And then when you've gotten to spots with that long spine, you're like, okay, this is probably pretty good. Round your spine, relax and settle in. Last breath. Okay. Keep the feet right where they're at. Keep the legs right where they're at. Okay, and we're just gonna come onto our backs now. Reclining goddess, so butterfly legs, but on our backs. We'll come down nice and slowly through the elbows. And then on down, keep those hands to our sides. And we're gonna do just a little goddess bridge or dynamic goddess or goddess lift. Okay, lifting our hips to the blades of those feet, squeeze our glutes, engage our lower back, and release back down. Good. Inhale, lift, and exhale on down. Just give me a total of five of those. And after that fifth one, we're going to hold those hips up and breathe. Okay, and we're just going to continue to then, after we get done with that dynamic move, we're just going to continue to lift those hips even higher. Okay? So after that fifth one, hold them a little bit higher. Think about those knees drawing down closer to the ground. Keep lifting those hips higher into our lower back. Feel that lower back. Keep breathing. Inhale, exhale. Lift just a little bit more. Uh, keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Lift just a little bit more. Out, standing, and exhale, and release down. Knees to chest, just around through our spine. Awesome. From here, we're going to move into either legs up the wall, shoulder stand, or plow. Okay, or all three if you want. So we can begin with that shoulder or uh, legs up the wall if you want. You can stay right here, hands underneath those hips, palms on the ground, or place that block underneath and float those feet up. If you want to go to shoulder stand, start lifting those hips up off the ground and support your legs up there, put those hands into your kidneys in the middle of your back, and then float those feet up. Get into that inversion pose. Create that little tripod with your elbows. If you're going to shoulder stand or plow, once you get up there, keep your head still, please. Look straight up. Look straight up, don't look side to side, okay? That's just to protect your neck, and then just be aware of the angle on your neck. You really should feel free on your neck. You should feel like you're impinging that neck at all. And so try to feel that that's happening. A lot of times people get into this pose and they get a really sharp angle on through the neck, okay? And our neck's not designed to be at that angle. And so we gotta keep a nice, normal angle. And then if you wanna go to plow, draw those feet way overhead. Again, watch the angle on the head, okay? That angle shouldn't have shifted at all, bringing our feet from shoulder stand into plow. Okay, that angle should have stayed the same angle. So try not to crunch down, okay, and then block your breathing in that windpipe of yours. And, you know, if you start to feel that, you're going too far. Release back out. Try to get in the plow if you're doing that. And then just feel a hamstring stretch. Okay, lengthening through our lower back glutes, hamstrings on down. Maybe even drawing those toes towards your shins, pointing straight down to the ground. That's really engaging. That's really engaging. 
Very nice. As we come out of any one of these, we're going to come down nice and slow. Come shoulder stand and plow. Set those hands down, palms to the ground. Engage your core and come out one vertebrae at a time as slowly as you can. When we find our bottom, let's go ahead and just find Shavasana. Relax, release. On to our mats. Sprawl out on our mats. Sink into our mats. Relax. Take that nice cleansing breath. Like that breath when we return home after a long trip or maybe an exhausting trip, which we probably haven't taken in a while. And you know you're home. This is your home. You, your body, your mind, where you're at. Shavasana, treat it like your home. Breathe and cleanse that breath. Soften on in. Our closing song, Diamonds in the Sun. Same one as yesterday, if you were with me, Diamonds in the Sun. So let's go ahead and get that going as we continue to relax and release into Shavasana. Soften that breath, soften our body, calm our body, calm our mind. Rest those eyes on our eyelids and breathe. Find stillness. And only in that stillness can we take all that chatter all that noise that's in our mind, bodies and minds, only through that stillness can we begin to sense what's internally going on, where we're at and how we're doing. Only through that stillness can we feel the reverberations of our practice and how they feel in our bodies. Only through that stillness can we break through can we break through and find that calm and that peace and that freedom only through our stillness? Our closing message. The closing song is a Sanskrit mantra. Sanskrit mantra, and it says, Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. What that means is, may all beings everywhere be happy and free. And may the thoughts and words and actions of my own life contribute in some way to that happiness and to that freedom. I honor the love and light in each of you as it's also within me. Namaste.